Welcome to 2020 for All, created by me, Arnett Day. I invite everyone to close their eyes for a couple of seconds. What do you see? Darkness, what approximately 39 million people see every single day. My project, 2020 for All, is the tool to help them. I'm sure you must be aware that by now, I have been developing this project for a while. And while this is still a work in progress, I have made some significant changes during this time and have taken some very important steps to convert my dream project into a reality. Okay, now a little bit about the project. As you can see, this is a map of the visually impaired around the world. As you can see, it affects all parts of the world, however, in different frequencies. In India and China, there is a high number of the visually impaired who cannot afford expensive visual aids that are currently available in the market, which is why I created my product. Okay, so why did I create my project? It was based on two primary reasons. Number one was my aim to make a difference in people's lives and create a social impact to this world. Secondly, my love for innovation and research fueled me in this project, which encouraged me to continue working on it, learn new things about the field, and satisfy my passion for science and innovation. As Tom Thiss always says, having a purpose is the difference between making a living and making a life. So what are my goals for the project? My goal for this project is firstly, to make a better world for the visually impaired, to get rid of their hassles and to allow them to enjoy a quality life without worry or danger. Secondly, my goal was to use a new concept of pairing echolocation with an innovative intuitive AI which can detect what type of object is in front of the user. This would allow the visually impaired to better understand and maneuver their surroundings so they can live their life better. Lastly, I wanted to develop a product which is not only practical, but also economically viable to affect as many people as it can around the globe. This is a diagram of my prototype. It will be made with lightweight silicon. The ultrasonic distance meter mounted on the front part will send out sound waves, which then bounce back off an object. The Arduino Nano motherboard will calculate the distance the sound traveled and will alert the user via a speaker, which tells the user how far the, object away, uh, how far the object is and what the object is. It has an accelerometer, so the glasses only activate when the user is moving. It is powered by a 12 or 9 volt lithium ion battery. I'm still working on this design to better the design and other aspects. So here's my, the current model of my prototype. In the future, I want to make it out of silicon and implant various new pieces of code that can enhance the product. As you may or may not know, there are many alternative visual aids that are currently available on the market. So what separates my project from theirs? Well, firstly, my project is extremely easy to use, as you do not, do not need to set up anything. And it is intuitive to understand via the speaker. Others on the, product, on the market are hard to use and are hard to set up. My product is lightweight and durable to ensure comfort and durability. Whereas the products on the market are heavy and sometimes fragile. A main plus for my project is its affordable pricing point, which beats most of the competitors currently on the market. Also, 2020 for All has a speaker which is easy for the user to understand, whereas on the market there are things that are hard or uncomfortable. For example, skin pulling or vibrations. Lastly, 2020 for All only activates when the user moves, whereas other problems products are always on, potentially causing hearing problems. The main benefit of my product is that it eliminates a lot of hassles for the visually impaired, such as the need of a cane or other forms of assistance, like a dog or even a person. It also helps them understand and comprehend their environment so they can navigate it safely. Also, my product is affordable and easy to use, allowing all of the visually impaired around the world to use the product. So the future plans I have for my project is based on three main aspects. First of all, I'm in the process of getting a patent in Luxembourg, which is the first step in establishing my product across the world. 
I've also been involved in an intensive program, the Touchbase program, to help launch this product, supervised by the Ministry of Economy and Labor. I'm also actively working with freelance engineers and designers to produce the final mock-up of the original product so it can be improved and made available to the public. Here's a piece of future code I want to put into my project. You can use the QR code to see for yourself what this object what this piece of code will do is that it has an AI that can detect what type of object it is, is in front of it and will then alert the user. I believe that this can improve my project significantly, which is why I have started developing this. In conclusion, I hope I can make this product available so that it can reach the people where it is needed most. I also hope to continue raising awareness for the visually impaired and the challenges they face in their daily lives. Thank you. Welcome back, Hamid. Uh, thank you. Very Edward. nice to see you here today again. Yeah, it's great to be here. How, how do you feel? The presentation is just over now. Uh, I, th I feel relaxed. Uh, the presentation, I think, was good, and I hope that Sunday will be the same. Okay, I'm just going to introduce you to the people here. So, like, basically, you participated last year. You were with a teammate, and you were already with the first version of that project here. Uh, you are a public speaker, uh, yeah. as we just spoke. Like, you've done TEDx. You've done presentation of this project for the ministry. You're a poetry publisher. You're a man of many talents, as we yeah. just said. Uh, why did it motivate you to come back with this specific project? What did you change here? I mean, what I changed was obviously I was working on a new piece of code that can perhaps better the product and make it publicly available. And why I chose this product time and time again is because I, it's very dear to me and I feel like I can really do something with this and I can inspire and make and help a lot of people with this product. So that's why I did. Okay. Can you take it in the hand and describe it a tiny bit? Yeah, sure. Uh, be careful of the battery here. But so as you can see here, Okay, as you can see here, this is the yeah, perhaps. as you can see here, this is the battery. This is yep. the accelerometer, uh, Arduino Nano, mm -hmm. and these are the ultrasonic distance sensors. We mm -hmm. uh, send out the sound waves, which then bounce off back an object, and then return to the uh, glasses, and then the we can hear it right yes, now. Actually, exactly. Yes. If you put it perhaps to the mic, that the sound is a voice saying that there's danger on the right and danger on the left. Okay. So it's basically kind of, uh, we, we talked about it during a previous interview, you can take back the mic. Um, it's basically like uh, bats would exactly. move along and, uh, yes. yeah, okay. It's exactly the same principles as a bat, which is actually one of my first inspirations, the animals, so nature, so. They fly so gracefully. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And I implemented that into the glasses. Okay. Can you tell us what makes science exciting for you? How what was the main inspiration to tell yourself, like, I want to create this? Like, so when I first look at science and, or any subject, for example, that matter in science, like physics, biology, chemistry, I, for me, it's always I look beyond. Mm -hmm. I take a look at, for example, let's say space and look at one planet, but then I think, oh, we're so small, there's a hundred other planets. So I really think that science is not just about one singular person, but about rather a collective whole. And it just makes you feel that you're part of something bigger than yourself and you feel proud of knowing that. Okay, and then there's the art of then pinpointing where to start or what the goal is then. Yes, yeah. obviously, that is obviously the hardest part actually starting off and luckily I had a great partner with me who unfortunately could not join us this year. But yeah, he and I completely, I would say knocked it out of the park. Yeah. One. During the project, what is one of the biggest decisions that you had to make in regards of continuing the project? I would say the biggest de decision to me was because I originally came up with the idea of the glasses. So, and when I first started off last year, I, in my school, I had a couple of friends who wanted to join me. So it was sort of making the decision because if I <laughs> anger one person, they're going to be like, hey, Arne, why didn't you choose me? And then I had to choose. So popular. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately, I decided to join uh, with Ponya, who I thought we got along well. And I thought perhaps he could help me further develop this project. Okay. And for the future, so you were talking about yeah, producing it, developing it further. What would be the, the end vision of your project? 
the end vision hopefully would be like what I see in my mind right now yeah. is me in places like, for example, sub-Saharan Africa or Southeast Asia going and giving the glasses to the actual visually impaired who can't afford it. That sounds so, like an excellent idea to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we are looking forward to it. Yes, very much. And uh, do you have also other creative ideas or other projects in your mind next to this one? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Okay, fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then maybe not. Sorry, sorry. But are you going to come back next year to present those ideas? Uh, yes, definitely. I think next year, perhaps, I will start a different project if I have enough time. That sounds awesome, I mean. Okay, great. But then thank you very much for being here. Thanks a lot. Showing us your uh, work and also that we could follow your development. And I'm looking forward to next year, if it works out, to see even how further you can go. Thank you so much. It was great being here. Thank you. Thank you.